Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. My name is Paulo and I'm here again for another unboxing video. And this is another box that came from Germany and it has another Caveco inside. Today I'll be using this knife. The pen is black, but I don't really have a Swiss knife that is black, so I guess I need to get one someday for the unboxing of black pens, but sometimes I have to choose to spend the money. I have to choose if I spend the money on knives or on pens, and if I have to choose, uh, it is very clear what I choose, I choose pens. So, I think this is open now. Kind of. I like to, I think I told this before, I like to keep the boxes because sometimes I have to ship pens because of the giveaways or such kind of things and I like to reuse boxes not only as a matter of saving money, but also why can't we reuse stuff? It's nicer. So, again, German newspaper, more German newspaper. The box goes away and here we have the content. And you can see, once again, I'm buying from this nice seller on eBay, which name is Gitania, or his real name, Jürgen Kuz, which is a, a very nice seller of some mostly some vintage pens and many German pens, and it is a kind of a go to for Kavec pens. So here we have a Kavec pen, but this one comes in a large tin, and here it is the thing, the booklet and the sticker, and here we have the pen. So, today the pen that I got is a pen that was discontinued uh, some time ago, and I decided to have this one. This is not something that I would ask. Actually, I could have asked from Kavec if they had one still to send me, but to be fair, I'm not sure if it makes that much sense for them to send me pens that they no longer sell. So, I didn't, and I bought it, so it's not inexpensive. But this is the Caveco Elite. A very shiny metal cap and the octagonal shaped barrel. So this pen um, was kind of the top of the range by Caveco a few years ago, but it is now discontinued. It has the Caveco logo both on top of the cap and on the bottom of the barrel. The barrel is resin, the cap is metal, the, it is threaded, but the threads inside are plastic. So it has a plastic lining on the cap. You'll not, you don't need to be worried if this will wear the threads because it's metal and plastic. It's not. And here we have the pen. As you can see, it has a large nib, which I like, the number six nib, and I'm happy for having this pen. I'm not sure. I don't think it it comes with a with a converter. No, it comes with two cartridges. It is one of those that has the, the spring on the barrel. Let me try to show if I do this and take my finger out. You see, it comes out. If I just do it more dramatically, <laughs> let's see if this gets out of the frame. Yes, both were shot. Okay, so it comes with two cartridges. The, this one is not really a cartridge. It's just this space filler. You can see it has the that spring there, which is nice because it keeps the cartridge in place. It will not 
be dislodged from the the nipple of the section and that may make some sense so now let's take a look at the nib this is a beautiful fine nib yes i always prefer fine nibs when i can choose and it is a nice one so um, this is the unboxing i just want to show you some people get a little mad with me because i showed the unboxing and i make a writing sample because and the reason is i like to make this kind of uh, a journey and show you what I get, what you'll be seeing soon in my channel and what are my options about pens and this kind of evolution. So I like to do this and I could, yes, I could make the unboxing and then just make a writing sample and add it, add that to the, to these, but sometimes I get pens that I don't ink at all or just stay there until for some months sometimes to, to get inked. So that's why, as I don't do the inking of the pen for testing the pens on the unboxings, I do that on the reviews, I like to show some comparisons. And I would like to compare with some other pens of the Caveco range. So I have here the Elite. There was another pen that was very similar, it was the Elegance which is no longer in production also, which is a kind of a slimmer version of this pen. And it had um, a number five nib. And now that I'm thinking about it, there should be another pen here on this lineup. Just give me a second. Okay, so it was not one pen missing, it was two pens missing. So. I have here the Elite and I have here the, I would say, the top of the range nowadays, which is the Dia 2. And you can see the Elite is just a little bigger. I have the Lilliput, this is the steel version. I have the Supra in brass. I have the Special in brass. I have the Sport and I have the Lux Sport, which I like a lot. I think it is a beautiful pen. And I have the Perkeo. This is the Jungle Green. And the one of the most recent Kavec pens that I got, the Eyedropper 1910. And here you can see them. These are the biggest ones, but not in terms of nibs. So this is my, this is the kind of lineup you could expect and the, the, the size comparison. So just for showing it better, let's uncap and post the Lilliput. Let's uncap the Supra. I will not post it because I don't think it makes sense to post such a pen. Yes, this one has the number 6 nib. Let's uncap and unpost the special. Uncap the elite. Same thing with the dia. Now the Caveco Sport looks I will post it because this one is meant to be posted. Then the Perkeo, which is not meant to be posted, although you can. Number five nib. And finally, the eyedropper 1910, which is not meant to be posted also. And you can see this one, I think it is the longest one. And the Elite is actually the kind of size of uh, Caveco Sport when posted, but with a bigger nib. So for a fair nib comparison, you would need to have the Supra here. So you can see the kind of size. And I think this is a very nice interesting pen i want to try it to use it uh, 
for some time and to be able to make a review soon. I know this pen is no longer being produced. I think it will be easily available still in some retailers. Uh, I'm not sure if um, Jürgen still has, but there is his email there. You can always send him an email and ask because he's very nice in telling us what he has. This is very uncomfortable. I think it will be a very good pen to use like this and post it. And so I let me just um, go a little bit sideways again and go into something that Kavek already told me that it's not on their plans to make a bigger uh, Kaveco dia with a bigger nib. So imagine a Kaveco dia bigger, so to be the same uh, diameter. This is not kind of diameter because it is uh, faceted, it's hexagonal, not cylindrical. But let's imagine this was round, uh, a round dia and so a thicker dia and then when you would uncap both pens you would have a bigger nib on the dia. So I think it would be a very very nice feature if someday Kaveco made kind of a dia with those kind of characteristics. I don't think that's on their plans but I'll keep here my suggestion again. Maybe if enough people will ask for it, maybe someday they will do it. I think it would make sense. I've heard some people saying that they may, they should make a, an oversized sport. I'm not completely sure if it would make sense. I think the characteristics of the sport is to be a short pocket pen, but I think uh, a regular size dia has some room to exist and I think it makes sense, but um, also Besides an oversized, a uh, regular size D, an oversized one would make sense. And now that I think about it, I remember that I forgot also to put here the the student. So it was another option of pen comparison, and I forgot this was also an option. So Cafe has lots of models. I don't have that elegance that I talked about, but. Maybe one day, maybe not, I'm not sure. It's not a pen that interests me that much. This one did, and so I got it. So, this is too long now for just an unboxing and for some comparison. I hope you find these comparisons useful, because I think they may be, and that's why I make them. One thing I like is that it seems this material is the same material as the Lux Sport, and if you ask me for the girth of this pen, of the Elite, I would say that the girth of the Elite is the same as the cap of the Cavex Sport or the same as a pencil, a Cavex Sport pencil. So, nice pen. Thank you, Jurgen, for again a very nice, another very nice deal on a Cavex pen and is my go to seller. Of Cavex, uh, mostly for those that are not provided by Cavex themselves for, for review. So, this was my unboxing video. This was the pen I showed you. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be back soon for more pen stuff. So, see you next time. Bye!